so that is the solo from just what i needed by elliot easton from the cars it's one of my favorite solos for a song i think it's like just about 30 seconds if not 20 seconds it's very short um and we're gonna go over it part by part some really cool things in it, it he doesn't uh play like anybody else there's a lot of stuff that he plays that's surprising when you hear it for the first time or even going back to listen like I did when I was learning this I was like wow there's some really really fucking cool parts in this so uh yeah let's get into it okay so let's get into it so the song is uh in E there's a three major chord which Elliot Easton, who's playing the solo, has to contend with during a solo. So it starts off E major, starting on seventh fret, excuse me, seventh fret of the B string, landing on the fifth fret. Which is 6th fret G string, 6th fret, 4th fret, and then just contending with that 3 major chord, right? And then he goes, another cool E major thing, slide from the 4 to the 6 on the D string, 4th fret G string, Slide from the 4th to the 6th on the G. And then he goes. Which is. 7th fret. Pretty heavy vibrato in there. And he comes down. He picks before he comes down. Then he goes. Is up a whole step, then he goes landing on this three major again, then bending with a three major. There's the one. See, he's just landing on the thirds and playing the thirds of the chords and hitting the most important notes. Root, third, bending to those, going outside of the key, but staying close enough to... Yep, so... Then does like a country-style chicken-picking thing here, E major, classic. Then B string up on the seventh fret, up a whole step. Then with your pinky, this is the trickiest part of the whole solo. You get like these fake picks. All kinds of pick noise. Keep that bent up the whole time. Yeah. Then he goes up in sixth. But he goes up totally major. So not like, which is your classic thing when you're playing this kind of rock stuff. He goes up major with the major seventh in there. Six minor. That over the root is got that major seven in there, which isn't in the song, but he plays it in the solo. The is it there? That part. So then, so we've got ninth fret G M E. 11th fret G and E, then the root, the chord of the root is outlining, which is 13 G, 12 E, walks it up chromatically. So the whole thing sounds like this. That's the whole 
whole thing. So, slow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that lesson. Um, if you're on my Instagram, I'm, ass I'm assuming a lot of you are who are here. Um, please uh, learn the solo if you can. Post it on Instagram, tag me in it, and I'll be more than happy to share. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everybody.